Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah, that means his best friends, his closest followers, were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands. That to any thinking mind means rape. Have you allowed all the women to live? He asked them. They were the ones who followed Balaam's advice and enticed the, Israel, the, the Israelites to be unfaithful to the Lord in the Peor incident so that a plague struck the Lord's people. Now, kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man. But save for yourselves every girl who has never slept with a man. Yeah? Yeah, but yeah that's your Bible. So, 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 so where are you going now? By Omar's logic, what I'm hearing is this. That in Islam, it is acceptable to take slaves so long as it is in a correctly instituted jihad and that in that correctly instituted jihad as well as taking slaves it becomes acceptable to have sex with your slaves even you if they are married Muhammad is permitting adultery and the reason why my muslim interlogia has a problem with this it's because their hold conscience on, hold on, hold on, hold on. does not allow them to accept that their prophet was immoral. Come forward. What's your name? Omar. Omar. Nice to meet you, Omar. My name's Bob. So you, you, you asked me to show you where Muhammad committed adultery. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to show you. Now, just just so I know, uh, which kind of Muslim are you? A Sunni Muslim? So, uh, and which kind of Sunni? I follow the Quran and the Sunnah. Raul, Raul. You follow the Quran and the Sunnah? Yeah, I don't go under no name. Film, film there. Okay, Quran fair enough. So it, it's your belief that Muhammad never allowed uh, women to have sex? No, it's not my belief, it's just, I've never heard of it. Okay, so let, let me show you. Right. Is Raul okay? Yeah. Alright, so, are you listening? This is, I'm, I'm going to quote to you one of the hadiths of Islam to show that Muhammad committed adultery amongst his followers. Okay? And also the rape of female captives. Now, if your conscience, like mine, says that this is immoral, that it is not an application for today, particularly in your case, yes, I, I agree with that. then you should reject Islam. Would you not agree? No. Okay, no, that's, that's interesting. He okay, no he, said, he said he didn't allow rape and he didn't allow adultery. So now let me provide the evidence. Right. In Abu Dawood 2150 and Sahih al-Muslim 3433. Now you know what Sahih al-Muslim is. Yeah. yeah, it's a hadith. Authentic, yeah. authentic hadith. Sahih means authentic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here's what it says. The Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Autaz. On the occasion of, of the Battle of Hunayn, they met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. So Allah the Exalted sent down the Quranic verse, Surah 424, and all married women are forbidden unto you, save those captives whom your right hands possess. So do you know what you just said doesn't... Or really, what, what you said before, you're contradicting yourself with your own. What you just presented to me is the opposite of what you just said. So, you understand that? no, no, you've not, clearly not listened. No, no, I clearly, so, I clearly have. So, does yeah, it say that it they, down, they were married? Let's, let's break it Okay, down. so let's break it down. They were it married, down. yeah. They were married? Yes. So the hadith says that there were people that did this. It doesn't say that the Muhammad, that Muhammad peace be upon him, said go and do this. No, it said Allah did. No, no, no. Sure. I'll show you. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Omar is saying Muhammad didn't say do this. Okay. I agree with him. Okay. Omar, you're right. Muhammad didn't say do it. Allah did. Okay, show me. Listen. Listen carefully. Okay. Very carefully. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have intercourse with female captives in the presence of their husbands. Now, Omar, logical question. If someone has a husband, 
Are they married or not married? Yes, they are married. Thank you. Let's continue. Yes. Let's yeah, continue. Because that's not that. That's Their not husbands. No, 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 hold on, no, no, no. Let's let's agree on this point. They were married. No, no, no. Yeah, of course. To this point. And were Muslims having intercourse with them? No, yes, Muslims, not Islam. So you're okay. About Muslims here. Thank you. Okay, yeah. In 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 the history of Islam, there were many times when Muslims were wrong. So the premise. Mistakes, and that, that's how we learn from these things. We Thank learn, you. So the premise is correct. Muslims making these mistakes. So what we should expect, if Omar is correct, yeah. Is that Allah would reveal an ayah of the Quran that says, O oh Muslims, O oh believers of Allah, do not have sex with female captives who are married. No, 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 no. But listen to the verse that was actually revealed. Omar, that. Omar, listen. I don't expect that. Listen. Surah 4, 24 reads. Yes. And all married women, so what's the topic of discussion? Married women. Married, yeah. women all married women are forbidden unto you, save. Now, in English, when do we use save as a contrast? We're talking about money. It's to negate. Okay. Okay? It's to negate. So, in other words, another way you could translate this is all married women are forbidden unto you, except. Yeah. Except those captives whom your right hands possess. Which means that these are married women as slaves in the possession of Muslims, that they are allowed to have sex with them. This is adultery and it breaks the commandments of God. The exception is not to married women. No, no, hey, this guy don't understand what he's saying. I'm telling you people, honestly, look, you don't know the context of these this is so the context of Surah 424. But these people don't understand it. So you can show me the verse, but you know what that verse really means. So you tell me then, as an expert who's going to correct me. I am not an expert. So you're not an expert, but I, know... but I am wrong. No, 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 no. <laughs> what you're saying is not true. I you're not need... an expert, but what I'm saying is true. Everyone's laughing, but do I need to be an expert to know something is not true? Okay, so tell me why I'm wrong. You're wrong because... What... Your point, what's your point? Your point is that... What, so, so My point, point is the text is very clear. What, yeah, what does it say? My, what does that, I, I've read it to you twice. I think everyone has heard it very clearly. Yeah, it says that there are captives yeah. who are married in the possession <laughs> of the Muslim community yeah. and Allah permits them to have sex with them. Yeah. Do you know, do you understand this the is concept? adultery. Do you, under, concept, do you understand the concept, the context of the war and why they're slaves in the first place? Does that and, justify and what's it? Going on? No, no, no. It does, look, these people, you need to understand that these women, these women, who are they married to? They're married, right? Who are they married? To unbelievers. To unbelievers. Yes. Who do the unbelievers fight? They the Muslims. Fight the, they fight the believers. Yes. So they're the pagans. So it's justified. No, 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 no. We go slow. <laughs> Can I ask you a quick question? No, we can step by step, step by step. Step by step. The believers, yep. yeah. Yep. Who are they fighting? The unbelievers. Yes. The unbelievers have wives. Yeah? Yes. The unbelievers, they're married. They're taken captive. Okay, they're taken captive for what reason? Are we just taking are taking them captive for for, for just, just because just because what? It's a war. There's a war that's going on. Okay. These captives, yes. why are they captives? Because it's, it's, it's a war, right? It's war booty. Something yeah. is going on. People booty are being killed. in the worst possible sense. People yeah, well, are being killed. The right. These Muslims are being killed, right? So let me ask you this question. No, no, no hold on, hold on. Go on, Omar. Drive to your point, brother. No, no, drive to your point. I'm going to the point. Okay. The British and American, I'm, I'm so if you could speed up, Omar. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. My point is, these captives, why are they captives? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You mean it's I'm arguing oh, no, from no, your I text. No, no, I don't care about what you're saying. Listen to what I'm saying. I'm arguing from your text. Listen to what I'm saying. 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 Can we come to the point? These captives, why are they captives? Come to the point, Omar. What's your point? No, no, no. We are getting to the point. Hurry up, Omar. We're getting to the point. Okay, what's your point, Omar? I'm asking you a question. I'm going to give you one chance to come to your point and then I will continue. What is your point? So you can continue, but this is the way I speak. I'm going step by step so we can understand. So I can't go ahead to come to his point. And he doesn't ahead. want to come to his point. So I will ask you this simply. I'm asking a question, not answering. Why are you not answering? Okay, because I want you to come to your point you and you're not doing that. You understand that this is war going on, yeah? This is war. Yes, this is not game. there is a battle. This is not game, this is a battle. So that's why these women and these men are taking captives, right? Yes What's no? your point, Omar? My point is, if you let these women... Look, this is what used to happen, yeah? The men... Listen, listen. In war, what's, what's your point, point Omar? Look, you free the slaves, right? You can free... Look, when... Look, see in the war, when the war was going on, when the war was going on, I know the way, I, listen, when the war was going on, yeah, there's Omar, war going on. Omar, you're taking too long. Omar, you're taking too long. You're not even showing me the you're, 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 You have waited, is, I've waited you're not patiently. Omar, let's be clear. Yeah, let's be clear. If, by Omar's logic, what I'm hearing is this, that in Islam, 
it is acceptable to take slaves so long as it is in a correctly instituted jihad and that in that correctly instituted jihad as well as taking slaves it becomes acceptable to have sex with your slaves even you if they are married you have now, ma you, you can, when you now, marry them listen, let I'm us let us no, you had your chance Omar to come to your point you had your chance so now and my point let is, us just reverse this logic yeah. well. you let us you reverse well. this logic I don't, I don't know this which muslim here would accept the idea that if there was a war and Muslims were taken as captives, female captives, that it would be acceptable to have sex with Muslim female captives well, even though they are married. Put your hand up. It's not about that. 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 Do you see? It's not about that. It's not like that. Look, listen, listen. What you don't understand about the verse. So, come to your point, Omar. What you don't understand about the verse. Your last chance, come to your point. It's not my last chance. Come to your point. No last chance. Pause your point. As far as I want to speak, listen to what I'm saying. This verse, let me read the verse, please. Let me read the verse again. Let me read it. Read it out to me, please. So, hold on. Before you read the verse, you understand that the way you speak and the way our last speak is not the same. So, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Omar needs me to read the verse again because it's not clear. So I'll break, read it again, but I'll break it down for everyone. You don't understand how the Quran works. Neither are you. Neither are you. I'm not either. The Apostle of Allah, that's Muhammad, sent a military expedition to our Read the verse. The military expedition is a war party. Awataz is an area. Just read the verse. On the occasion of the Battle of Hunain, that's self explanatory. Just read the verse. I want to they met the their enemy and fought with them. That means they had a battle. They defeated them and took them captives. That means they took prisoners. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah, that means his best friends, his closest followers were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives in the presence of their husbands. That to any thinking mind means rape. However, however, let us pretend for a thought experiment that they all consented. Even though they'd seen their fathers killed and their brothers killed and their uncles killed, even though they'd seen their community destroyed, let us pretend that they suddenly decided, yeah, these, these Muslim Arabs are good looking and I'm horny, so let's have sex. <laughs> they consented. But the fact of the matter is, even if we allow that premise, they were still married. That's right. They were still married. That's right, take me. Who were unbelievers. So Allah, not Muhammad, Allah revealed a verse of the Quran, Surah 424, which reads, and all married women, so the topic of discussion is not divorced women, the topic of discussion is married women. And all married women are forbidden unto you, save, except with the condition of those captives whom your right hands possess. The topic of discussion is married women and it says that they are forbidden to you with the exception of those who are your possession, your slave. Listen, Surah listen. 424. Yeah, Surah, Surah 424, the, the, correct, the correct translation is, and also prohibited to, to, to you are all married women, except those your right hand possess. Thank, thank you. Wait, thank you. wait. Thank you. This, thank you. Is, hold on, hold on. this is the decree of Allah upon you, and lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them, provided that you seek them in marriage, which you are not saying, with, with gifts, this is what I'm with getting. gifts from That's your it. property desiring, Desiring chastity, no unlawful sex, all right. sexual intercourse. Uh, all right, go on. Let's so talk. For go whatever on. Go you on. enjoy go on. of marriage from them, give all them right. the due Let's compensation as an obligation. And there is no okay. blame upon you right. for what you mutually agree. So everyone agree. that's laughing, what are you laughing at? Except, except what? Except what? Except what? Thank you. This is why they tell the truth. This is why I'm telling you this what you want to hear. This is why. Listen carefully to the verse. No, no, hold on. No, no, I'm going to respond to him now. Let me talk to the people. I'm going to respond to him now. Let me talk to the people. 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 Let me talk to
Hold on. I'm going to respond to him now. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Because he he's not being clear. Also prohibited are women already married. Ex uh, your, then your Quran is lying because I just quoted the Quran. The Quran is lying. Also prohibited are women already married, except those whom your right hands possess. And what does that mean? Thus, Allah hath ordained prohibitions against you, except for these, which means that now Allah is introducing a different clause. So everything that follows thereon does not apply to the clause that came before it. This is basic English grammar. Okay, yeah, right. okay, okay, no, and the brother here, okay. maybe because English on, is not on. his first language, I don't know. Or maybe he was just a bad student of English grammar, I don't know. Has simply failed okay, to see on. the introduction okay. of a new clause. Okay. When they are supposed to be treated differently as clearly written in the text. Okay, are you done? Are you done? No, no, hold on, hold on. Are you done? Are you yes. done? Can I speak? Yes. Read all of it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. One second, one second, one second. One second, one second, one second, one second, one second. One second, one second, one second. They only give you information. No, one, one, one second, one second, one second. Are you going to interrupt me? Please, let me talk about interruptions, yeah? He presented the verse 424, chapter 4, verse 24. Right here I'm reading 424. I'm not reading another verse. That's why when I came here, even though it seems like I don't know nothing and I'm struggling, I can tell that he's not, he's hiding something because I know Allah don't work that way and he's not going to let us rape people because we're not rapists. So let me read the verse again. For everyone that was laughing, yeah, for everyone, let me read the verse again. Let's see if you're laughing now, yeah? Clarified. Clarified. Don't interrupt me. And I know English and I speak English and he does as well because he's read it. No, but I still respect, disrespect you like no, 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 of course. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You understand? All language hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Speak. No, hold on. They don't have that respect. Hold on. You understand? And also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. Thank you. This is the decree of Allah upon you. This is all a verse. Hey, listen, hold on, hold on, people. This is the entire verse. He read the first sentence of the verse. He read the first sentence of the verse. Liars Keep going. get exposed. Keep going. You will get exposed. Keep going. And also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these. A new clause. It's interrupting me. Thank you. It's interrupting me. Carry Why on. are you interrupting me? Let me finish the verse. Carry on. Let me finish the verse. This is the decree of Allah upon you. And lawful to you are all others beyond these. Provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, yep. desiring chastity, yep. not unlawful sexual intercourse. <laughs> yep. I'm, not done. No, I'm, I'm not, not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. Rape is unlawful hold on, sexual hold on. intercourse. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless, unless they are your female captives. Let me finish. 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 I believe that everyone here understands Don't English. Hold on. Which is rape. So yeah, don't hold on, hold on, hold on. So for don't whatever, so, so don't twist the words. Hold on. So for whatever. Don't twist the words. I'm not hold twisting on, the words. Hold on. I'm not hold twisting on. the words. Look, the is problem is, is, is your Quran. Quran. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is the no, problem. Not my twisting of the words. The problem is what Muhammad did as I demonstrated. From your let hadith, me, no, that is the, the problem. Who wants to not my the twisting the words. Who wants me to continue? Finish the verse? I'm going to read it again. I'm going to read it again because you read that like five times. Continue. Let me read the verse again. So we're going to have the verse like eight times. Yes, yes, Please. yes eight on. times. Go eight on. times. Go eight on. times. Go let on. me read it again. No interruptions. He interrupts. He interrupts. He interrupts. Don't interrupt me. No one interrupt me. And also prohibited to you are all married women except those your right hand possess. This is the decree of Allah upon you, and lawful to you are all others beyond these, provided that you seek them in marriage with gifts from your property, desiring chastity, not unlawful sexual <coughs> intercourse. So for whatever you enjoy of marriage from them, give them their due compensation as an obligation, and there is no blame upon you, for you mutually agree to beyond the obligation. Indeed, Allah is ever knowing and wise. What's the hand like? What, what, what does that mean? Finish, so, finish, finish. Are, are you finished? I'm done. Yes, I'm okay, done. Okay, so, no, no, he I'm says, I'm, done. I'm going to. Explain. I'm going no, no, to. No, 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 so, no, 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 hold on. Before you explain, explain to me. No, what? no, 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 no. Wait, explain, you're not going to no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Explain to me. You're not me. going to dictate no. to me. No, no, hold on. Explain you're not going to, to dictate to me. Explain to us. I'm going to you're explain. You're lying then. Explain to, to us why you're only presenting half so, of the verse. Explain he's saying, to me. Explain he's saying, to me. he's okay. saying, why am I only presenting half the verse? Yes, let me hear. Because the verse itself 
introduces a new clause. And the one that I have issue with is the first clause, not the second clause. Now, notice he's interrupting after demanding that I don't interrupt him. Do you notice the double standard? I have to be quiet while he talks, but he can interrupt me. Notice the double standard. Notice the double standard. Let's read the verse again. Also prohibited are women already married. So we're talking about married women. Except those whom your right hands possess. So those married women that you possess with your right hand, which is an ancient way of saying female slave, you can have sex with even if they are married. No. Thus, Allah hath ordained prohibitions against you. Now listen carefully to the next phrase. Listen carefully. Except for these, which means except for those with whom I have already addressed, except for those with whom I have already spoken about where, 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 where you your corandas. Where are you getting that from? Your corandas, right there. What do these words say? Except for these. Thank you very much. And what you except for these? What does that these mean? Who are you to say what these others. Mean? Listen carefully. Except for these, all others. So now Allah is going on to talk about other groups. He's not talking Why about you married you? women. Who told you that? Who told you He's that? not talking Who about that? married women that your you right that? hands possess. Hey, He's now him. talking about unmarried women. Hey, hey, post the whole video. And yeah. I have post no all problem. All of it. Post all of no it. problem with what you, follows. No. Like you're presenting all the of these. You're you're all others. You're doing us a favor. You're doing us a favor. You're doing us a favor. All others are lawful. You're doing us a favor, fam. Provided you seek fam. them in marriage. Now listen carefully. <laughs> if you are seeking them in marriage, are they married? No. But if it says all prohibited are women already married, are they married? Yes. So clearly the verse is introducing two clauses about two groups of women. Muhammad is permitting adultery and the reason why my Muslim interlogia has a problem with this is because their conscience does not allow them to accept that their prophet was immoral. You're lying. You're lying. That he instituted immorality. He's lying. Everyone here knows he presented half of the verse. He's given his I have own read interpretation. He's talking about the, the Quran verse. and he's given his own you interpretation. You decide for yourself who has a better grasp of the, the text. Verse. If anybody still listens to this man now, after what he's done, then something is wrong with let, him. He says something, something is wrong with you for listening. In other words, not being driven by your in reasoning. Omar's mind, by your reasoning. anyone who listens to a criticism of Islam is mentally why, deficient. Why are you picking and choosing? This is how he thinks. Why are you picking and choosing? He wants to live in a world why are you where no and one can criticize his prophet. Why are you prophet? picking and choosing? Why are you picking Oh, let me, Did let me. I say hold that on, there was on, something wrong with the people because hold they listened to hold you? On, hold on. No. Let me say one thing. Let me say one more thing. Let me say one more thing. One more thing. One Go more on. thing. This is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. You're coming and saying, for example, there's a verse. There'll be a verse that will say, kill the unbelievers. Unless blah, blah, blah. You will come here and you'll present to us kill the unbelievers. You won't show us the unless blah blah, unless they say I'm not this not no more, unless I don't want a war no more, you will come to us and you'll show us kill the unbelievers. That's what you do. It's not even the, the, it's not even the next verse. You are hiding the, the second part of the same verse. I read the, the second same. part you of the it. same verse. Did he? To yes, did he? Yes. Where? Where? I backed it out. Shall we read it again? You read it after. You read it after. Read it again. You read it after. So, after the brother, brother came brother, behind brother, me. After the brother came behind me. Yes, brother. After the brother so, came behind me, then he read us it. Yes or no? Yes or no? What yes or did no? Yahweh reveal to Moses stop, on the Mount stop Sinai? The subject. Oh, you know. What did he reveal? It's the same subject. You're a concealer. Why are you in concealing? chapter 20, you're a concealer. verse 14, you're a concealer, brother. God said to Yahweh, you shall not commit adultery. Is that why you don't do it? How can it be? The Muhammad is the same God as the God of Moses 
when he directly contradicts what Moses revealed. All right, all right, he's reading the Quran. He's reading the Quran, yeah? You're talking, you're, 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 you're talking about loneliness and all this stuff. Let me read the Bible. Let me read the Bible. Now, let, let me read the whole verse. Have you allowed all the women to live? He asks them. Who is this speaking? Over, over. Jesus. 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 The, 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 the evil sex in the chapter, the chapter 15, numbers. number 31, 14, 15 chapter 15. Euros, they're doing it. They're Ch they're chapter 31, verse 15. Of what book? Chapter 31, verse 15. Of what book? Deuteronomy. 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 Chapter 31, verse 15. Deuteronomy. Are you happy? Are you happy? Are you happy? He says that it was Jesus speaking. Jesus was not revealed until the incarnation which was the new covenant. Yeah. This man doesn't even know what he's talking about. If you're a Trinitarian Christian, Christian you believe Jesus okay. is the author of the Old Testament. Testament. No, yes. that's the, that's not the, not the prophets were revealed by the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. Do you believe Jesus to be God? Yes, we do. If you believe Jesus to be God, read your verse. Read your verse. If you believe Jesus to be God, read your verse. If you believe Jesus to be God, read your verse. Calm down, calm. If you believe Jesus to be God, what's your verse, Omar? Let me read it. Let me read it. Okay, I'm speaking to you. What's your verse, Omar? If Trinitarians believe Jesus to be God, Okay, so, hard. we'll leave it there, folks. Oh, oh, read, read your verse. Read, read your verse. Read your verse. Read it. This is what Jesus said. Read it. Okay. Read it. Okay. <laughs> Let me read it. I'm going to read the, the two verses. I'm not leaving anything else. Chapter, third, chapter 31, Deuteronomy, verse 14, verse 15. No, Numbers. <laughs> what do you mean Numbers? Numbers 30. Numbers is the book. Numbers is the book. Then you give the chapter, chapter then you give the verse. I don't know the Bible. I know you don't know the Bible. Hey, you are here to laugh. You're not here to laugh. You're 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 here to laugh. you are here to laugh you are here to laugh you are here to laugh you are here to has so anyone got any water? Read verse 18. Yeah. This is the Bible. Verse 18. I don't Simple. Want to verse 18. Are Calm you changing the subject? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Verse the 18. No, no, I don't want to read all the Are you changing the subject? No, no, no. You just need to read the bit that's most no, important. Don't worry. Have you allowed all the women to live? He asked them. They were the ones who followed Balaam's advice and enticed the, Israeli, the, the Israelites to be unfaithful to the Lord in the Peor incident so that a plague struck the Lord's people. Now, kill all the boys and kill every woman who has slept with a man. But save for yourselves every girl who has never slept with a man. Yeah? Yep. But, yeah, that's your Bible. So, 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 so where are you going now? So yep. where are you going now? Ah, so who's laughing now? So, so let us address this verse. Okay. Who's in Okay. So he is gone now, but I'll address the verse that he read and you then we'll conclude. You're addressing oh, to your desires. So you're addressing to your desires. No, brother, I'm not the one who follows a prophet who permits rape. You do. Uh, so, wait, wait, you, I, I commit rape. Did you just say I commit rape? No, I didn't say that. I said you follow a prophet that allows you to commit rape. No, we don't do that. The we fact that you are better than your prophet is to compliment to you as a human being. It's not a compliment to the ex-Muslim of Muhammad. You look rape. No, so. Let's let us do that. Let us look. Who's who's you my lot? You. Who's you. my lot? Talking about you and you what know lot? Who you lot? What lot? What lot? What lot? What lot? What lot? White you. people. You no, know. no. White, white people. Him. Him. Christian. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. You lot, he says. But if we speak of Muslims in this manner, what are we accused of? Islamophobia. So what is he? If we is Christophobic. Christophobic. He's a Christophobe. He's a Christophobe. You lot, who's he talking about? So, let me address the brother's verse. Because it's true, in the Old Testament, there are some things that by our modern standards we would consider horrific. God, Yahweh, was dealing with the Hebrews who themselves had been brutalized through centuries of slavery. And he, over the course of their lifetime, as a nation, civilized them from being brutal. But he worked for them, with them, and through them from where they were. As a brutalized people, they were savages, and he limited their savagery increasingly. Let me finish. Let me finish. As Christians, 
We do not believe that we have to follow the examples of the Old Testament. We see them as Old Covenant. So I am not bound by the verse that the brother read in the Old Testament. I am bound by the example of Jesus, the example of Christ, which teaches me an ethic that you should love as you Aussie wish to be loved. Does that include that include so let me ask you this. Which God. of you, I'll come to you, one second. Which of you would want to be taken as a slave? Okay, can, no one. Can I answer that so one? therefore, as oh, Christians, he was on side. we <laughs> see the highest oh, ideal, on the highest ideal for others oh, that we would so want for ourselves, which is why Christians were fighting against slavery as early as the eighth century, whilst Muslims were establishing a slave trade from India to Spain.